We come through right, hold it down, you know what I'm saying? No more games. No more games. I was shocked by that shit. Element trip, Barcelona. I guess a couple people tried to skate it. Yeah, Dan Lou. I heard Rowan or some shit. I got lucky, I hopped on it, I was hyped. Ended up rolling away and I was like, what the fuck? Hands up, like how the hell? Did I just try this shit and like it worked out. Slapping high fives and the security came out and was like looking at the rail and looking at us and I was like, we're good, man. Like, thank you, fuck, we're out of here. The homie called me and was like, yo, like, how'd you do that shit? I was like, oh shit, like it came out, I'm hyped. He was like, yeah, man, it's the cover. And I was like, wait, what? He's like, no, it's like the cover. Do you want me to FaceTime you right now? And I was like, yo, hit me up. He hit me up that whole night. I was like, damn, like drinking with all the boys. Shout out Skateboard Mag, shout out Jake Darwin. Fuck, man, it's crazy. <laughs> Elephant video, looking pretty good right now. All the boys are killing it. From what I believe, as far as AMs, like, yeah, working on full parts. Some of the pros, you know what I mean? They're just gonna go in in the streets and see what they can do. Whatever they do is gonna be fucked. They're not on the squad for no reason, you know what I mean? They hold it down. Evan, Julian, Nick, smashing. Going on trips to the Apple Yard, you're like, what the fuck, like, best dude ever. Dude, Ray Barbie just showing up, like, crazy. Even Tom Shard, fucking shit up. Tom Shard is so tight. Him and Grayson are like unstoppable. We got pushed back a little bit, but uh, next year should, should be solved, like, end of the year. The boy's trying, man, I'm fucking, Getting tossed out here. I love skateboarding, so we in this shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I put out VX parts with the homies. Try really hard for those too. Finally getting that HD real push, first part, so I'm excited. I'm trying to have all my family and friends there. I'm not even familiar with raves growing up or anything. I was always that kid that was just like, man, eh, like not for me, you know what I mean? Cinder kind of got nudged into it. As far as just being like, let's go to a festival, let's go. Sinner just led the way, it was crazy. He was just like, we're going here, we're going there. And like, just seeing how hyped he is about the music and being like so passionate about it, it's like, that's the part that I love the most. So I get stoked to go with him and like, he's just like, I got this lineup, this lineup. I'm like, dude, let's just go. Sinner at a rave is just insane. Sometimes you gotta go find him. He's just doing his own thing, find some girls and he's off. And then you don't see him for two hours and you walk past him and you're all, what the fuck, Sinner? And he's just like, hey, OB, yeah. And the next thing you know, he's with the squad again, kicking it. Yeah, it's for Let It Flow. Nigel's mom's organization, nonprofit. It's pretty much the whole mission of that was to get out there and give these ladies the water filters. They drink from the wells and from all these crazy places, and it's bad for just health in general. Give them these water filters, clean water. Everybody deserves clean water. And it works for a lifetime, apparently. Skate park was sick. Kids are super tight. They all skate with no shoes. Kids like bomb dropping off the extension with no shoes. Damn, K Walks, dude. Fucking it up this year. I'm actually going out to SF on Friday to like party with them and shit, so that's gonna be tight. Me and him, since we were like younger, we would just be like just trying to skate, just trying to fire it up one time. I guess he fired it all the way up to Skater of the Year, and now we get to celebrate. Barcelona Jamboree Club, it's popping off every night. You can start at 10 and end up there till like four in the morning, it's crazy. Why do they let you party like that? I have no idea. It's pretty fun, they play hip hop and shit. I'm like, all right, tight, my kind of scene, let's do this. If you get a trick that week or something, definitely hit Jamboree up. <laughs> Live with Nigel. <laughs> Sometimes there's a function going on, so you're just like, come home straight into turning up. Good dude pushes me to skate, you know what I mean? When we're going to the park and shit, he's always like, try this, try that. It's tight, Live with Nigel. Love that dude. The neighbors at the house suck. Except for this one lady with her two dogs, she's dope. She'll walk down, like, be like, hey, how you doing? There's this one guy that's right across from us, won't leave us alone. The other day I heard he's like, over the fact that this loud car is coming up the hill late at night. He wanted to stop pretty much or else he's gonna start towing cars. Whatever, God bless that dude, you know what I'm saying? Praying for him. And now it's just like, mellow because uh, he's over getting hassled by the cops. Just, motherfuckers haters, hating on a good party. Forrest, Forrest Edwards, be amazing. Ask them questions is the best because you never know what you're gonna get out of them. He might give you a simple no or he might just be on some other shit, like tell you some extra shit. He might get hyped and just tell you some story, like, he's tight. Subscribe to Ride Channel.